Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be doing today. If you missed the video that I posted yesterday that was a very similar problem to this, I'll put a link here. You can go check that out. I recommend you start there. I'm going to kind of skip over some of the explanation of why we're doing what we're doing. And today I'm just going to kind of go through the problem, show you the steps how to solve this, uh, and show you, you know, the solution at the end. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All we're going to be doing is finding the equation of the line that is tangent to the curve 16x squared plus y squared equals xy plus 4 at the point 0, 2. So we need to make sure that our tangent line equation that we're coming up with, it's obviously going to be linear, and it needs to go through this point, and it needs to have the same slope as this curve at that point. So to do this, since we have our x's and y's all kind of mixed in together, we're going to have to apply implicit differentiation here. So all we're going to do is take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x. So doing that, uh, the derivative of 16x squared is just going to be power rule, right? Bring the power down in front, lower the power by 1. That's going to give us 32x. 2 minus 1 is 1. x to the 1 is just x. Then for the derivative of y squared, we're going to need to use the chain rule because y has to be treated as a function of x because we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So doing that, the derivative of the outside will just be power rule, leave the inside alone so the y is not going to change. And then we're going to multiply that by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of y, which is our inside function, is just dy dx. Okay? Then for the derivative of xy, we need to use the product rule. The derivative of x is just going to be 1 times y plus x times the derivative of y, which again is just dy dx because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, and y has to be treated as a function of x. And then the derivative of a constant 4 is just going to be 0. So that's it for the implicit differentiation step. Now what we need to do is move all of our dy dx terms to one side of the equation and all of our non-dy dx terms to the other side. So this term here doesn't have a dy dx in it, so we'll subtract it over to the other side. This term here does, so we'll leave it on the left. This term does not have a dy dx in it, so we'll leave it over here on the right. And then this term has a dy dx, so we need to move it over to the left side of our equation. And then remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side of the equation as well. So over here, we're going to have to minus an x dy dx. And then over here, we're going to have to minus a 32x also. So we're doing that to both sides of the equation. This is going to cancel with that. This is going to cancel with that. So over on the left side, we're going to have 2y dy dx minus x dy dx equals y minus 32x, right? Okay, so now I'll just kind of erase up here and move this up to the top real quick. Okay, so now that we've separated our dy dx terms from our non-dy dx terms, both terms over here on the left side of our equation have a dy dx in them, so we can factor that out from the whole left side. If we take our dy dx out of here, we're left with 2y. And then if we take dy dx from that term, we're just left with minus x. And that's still going to equal y minus 32x. Now we can just divide both sides by 2y minus x to cancel that. And that will give us dy dx is y minus 32x over 2y minus x. Okay, so the reason why we were doing this was to find the slope of our tangent line specifically at the point zero 0,2, right? So we need to make sure that we're finding the slope at the point zero 0,2. So dy dx tells us exactly the slope of our curve that we, we were given. All we have to do is plug in our xy combination into this equation to get the slope of our tangent line. So doing that, we'll get dy dx is y, which is 2, minus 32, times x, which is 0, over 2y, which is 2 times 2, minus x, which is 0, which will give us 2 over 4, which is 1 half. All right, so the slope of our tangent line is going to be 1 half, but we're not done yet. What we need to do now is make sure that our tangent line 
goes through the point zero too. So in general, when we're doing these kind of tangent line equations, we're usually going to want to use the point slope formula for a line, which is going to be this. So m is the slope of this line, which we just found out is one half. So we at least know that we're going to have a one half right there. And then for this x0 and y0, we just need to plug in uh, our x coordinate and our y coordinate for those points. So we're just going to get that, right? Because x0, we know it goes to the point 0, 2. The x is 0. The y coordinate of that is 2. Then we can simplify this, give us 1 half x plus 2. And this will be the equation of the tangent line to that original curve that we were given that goes through this point.